Good afternoon, everyone. I am starting my vlog so late in the day, but I have had the world's most productive day. I am just, I'm in awe of myself, okay? I am actually in awe of myself. Not only did I wake up at quarter past five today by mistake, I did not mean to wake up that early. I meant to set my alarm for quarter, for quarter to six. I, instead, I set it for quarter past five. And um, I thought that I was gonna have the world's most leisurely morning. Instead, Lumi then brought in a mouse. And so I spent the most part of the morning searching for the mouse. And then I had a PT session. And then I had a huge reorganize of like beauty products and just loads of bits and pieces. And you know how much that settles my soul. Lumi has been very, very clingy and loving today. So we've had a lot of snuggles up in my dressing room. I made her a little bed in my uh, chest of drawers. I made a little like little nook for her and she snuggled in. She's, she's been a little bit under the weather, I think. She's not her usual self, is she, babe? She's a bit strange and we have this thing with her because obviously it's actually nearly a year, isn't it, babe? Since she had her uh, diagnostics. Yeah, her diagnostics. <laughs> like it's an Apple computer. <laughs> no, it's, it's nearly a year since um, Lumi fell ill with pancreatitis or pancreatitis or whatever it is. I've never been able to say and we have to monitor her quite closely because that is the sound of Mr. Mill and Gordon cooking us dinner. We have to monitor her quite closely because she started off really well and she ate her special gastro food non-stop and she was so happy. And then about New Year's time, she got a urine infection and from that moment she wouldn't eat that food anymore like honestly just won't touch it she'll lick the the juice but she will not eat the chunks and it was just like that instant so we did speak to the vets and they put her back on her normal food and so we do just have to pay close attention to her and at the moment i think she might be in a little bit of discomfort so we're we're just monitoring and giving her lots of water and her gastro food but the thing is is Everyone always says to us, if you just leave the gastro food down, she'll eat it. No, no. Lumi would rather starve. So we're trying to like, like balance out her losing weight with her not inflaming her pancreas. Oh, we were to wean her off of it. Yeah, no, no, no. Only because she wouldn't eat it anymore. Otherwise, they would have kept her on it forever. But if she's not eating it, she's not eating it. This little sausage is about to have his dinner. See, very, very good boy. And we have to be very quiet because we are having sausages for dinner. And we don't want to say that too loudly because he might hear. <laughs> and we don't, want, we, we don't want him thinking that we're having him for dinner, do we? No, we don't. But today had to be a very productive day because tomorrow is a very, very interesting day. I am going to be doing my first ever movie premiere with my husband. We're going to the Bond premiere and to say that someone is very excited is a bit of an understatement. This, this young man is very, very excited. We're going to watch a Bond film tonight, he says. We are, we're watching a Bond film tonight. Are you sure? Yes, babe, absolutely. I'm not going to read my book. I'm going to watch the Bond film. No, I'm definitely going to watch it with you. I'd love to. We just have to decide which one, because there's I'd like to watch like a classic one, because I've never watched like a classic Sean one. Connery, then. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. After Daniel Craig, Sean Connery is one of the best ones. Wow. I liked uh, Piers Brosnan. I did like Piers I Brosnan. Mean, he looks like a Bond. Yes, but I also think that Piers Brosnan was like the Bond of our kind of era. So yeah. we just associate Bond with him. Yeah. But anyway, anyway. So we're going to do that. And um, tomorrow, I'm literally, I'm going to be in basically hair and makeup all day because it's, it's going to take a while. I've got Alex coming over to do my nails and my toenails and um, my makeup. I'm going to try and do my hair myself. I want to do something kind of like low, dishevelled, bun-esque. And I have a few things, like outfits-wise, to choose from that I'm probably gonna get into with you this evening. I've basically got, in fact, I'm gonna come out of the kitchen because it's so noisy in here. Mr. Millen Gordon is making a right old racket. So I didn't buy anything new. I'm trying to be really good in that respect because I have so many beautiful gowns in my wardrobe that when it comes to these things, I almost like panic. I panic. And I think, I've got nothing to wear. What am I gonna do? I need to buy a really expensive dress or something like that. And actually, I already had some really lovely pieces that I haven't even worn to like anything special. 
So first and foremost, I've got my Costarellos dress, which, so I have this incredible Costarellos gown, which is not too long either. So I think that um, I would actually feel really comfortable in this. And I thought that this with like a really low, what's the word, almost like, not disheveled, like effortless bun. I thought this would be really lovely. I've got a lot of booby tape so that we can hold it in place. Otherwise, I've got the Costarellos trousers as well that I could wear, and I just think it's such a beautiful brand. So I'm gonna have a bit of a try on tomorrow. I do also have a very large box from Costarellos as well. Now these are actually loans. These are loans for a shoot because we have a very lovely shoot happening. Well, we're going to this amazing location and I just, I, I said to them, I was like, I just feel like your dresses would be perfect there. I don't think these are gonna be right for the premiere because they're like, they're quite a seasonal piece and that was what I wanted. But I thought we could open it up and just have a little bit of a look inside. But like I said, I've not bought these. These are alone for something that I want to shoot. But this is honestly, this brand is so beautiful. And to be honest, I've got a few things that I've bought as well that I thought today, rather than not vlog, I could open up some of the orders that I've made and show you what I've been buying. Oh my goodness me. <gasps> wow. Oh my goodness. So dramatic and it's green as well. So this is the most luxurious, like velvet and lace dress. High neck, very kind of regal and ethereal. And it is just so beautiful. I've got the choice of this dress. This is obviously not for the premiere, but seeing as we're talking gowns and glitz and glamour, I, um, I couldn't resist. I'm also gonna, I'm gonna have a bit of a change up. I think I'm gonna wear my Boodle's earrings and bracelet as well. I don't want to go too bling, but I want to wear some sparkly diamonds. So, um, oh, it's very exciting. It's not often I get to leave this house, <laughs> but wowzers. I think I'd probably be too short to wear this on the red carpet anyway. This is made for like very, very tall models. Very tall models. I'm actually gonna hang this up though so that it is ready for when I do shoot. I think one of my favorite things is shooting in gowns. like. There are so many beautiful properties where we live, and um, yeah, it just makes me very excited. I'll pop this one up here for now. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. I reckon it could probably break my, my hangers. <laughs> and then this one is the other one. Oh my goodness. The color of this is just so autumnal. And I actually have the blouse of this. It actually looks more like red on camera, it's actually this really like muted rust shade, but uh, what's it called? Canons always throw up more red, that's one thing I've noticed. And uh, so that looks a lot redder than it is. It's actually just really nice and muted. Again, very long. <laughs> so for a little shorty like me, <laughs> it's probably too long. But so, so elegant. I have the blouse in this same cut, like this same style. Um, which actually would work really well with the Costarellos trousers that I have. So I'm gonna see how it all looks together. We're gonna try some things on tomorrow, okay? It's gonna be a real dress up day. Can you guess what I'm gonna be shooting with these dresses? Can you guess? Do the colors, I mean, I feel like the colors are probably gonna give you a different impression of what I'm gonna be shooting. But it's something very seasonal, very autumnal. Oh, it's just, they are so, so beautiful. We've got the little belt that goes with it as well. So I have two options. I am here by the way. <laughs> I have two options. This is the top to go with the trousers. It's actually fallen off the hanger. It's very similar to the dress, but it's more sort of like a jumpsuit vibe. Very, very elegant. So I could go with that, which again, a lot of booby tape will be used in the making of this outfit, FYI. Then this is the blouse. It might be a bit white for the trousers though. Where have I put them? Aha, here we go. These are the Costarellos trousers and they are so dramatic. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me in these over on my Instagram, walking across a little, oh, the trousers are so beautiful. I wore these to Bamba de Grove in Ibiza and um, I just felt like a Grecian goddess. So I think I could definitely feel very snazzy at the Bonfire. Oh, wow. And it's just a little bit chicer, isn't it, than going for a dress? 
Ooh, what are we gonna go for? So anyway, those are some pretty gowns that I'm thinking about. Now, I'm gonna open up some other pieces that I have been. Can I do that with that? I think it's too white, is it? Yeah, it's white with the ivory. So basically, I'm gonna be going to the premiere and I'm gonna be walking the red carpet and I'm going to be wearing everything that I already own. It's not gonna be anything new. I already own these pieces, so I'm actually really excited as well. So I was looking online, there's only one dress that tempted me. I'll pop a picture of it on screen. It's a particular Oscar de la Renta dress and unfortunately I was not going to spend that amount of money on a dress, but I have, I think I've posted this particular dress on my Instagram so many times and um, I feel like it's from my soul. But like I said, we are not gonna pay that for a dress that we're only gonna wear once. So that was that, that was the end of that dream. <laughs> now, this next order, it's a bit of a wild one. And I, I don't think I've ever ordered anything that has divided my audience more than this. And I could be making a huge mistake. I could be making a huge mistake with these, but I feel like I need a backstory. And considering I have verbal diarrhea today, I first saw these shoes on a DJ in Ibiza called Nicola Bear. And she was, in my eyes, the coolest person I had ever seen. <laughs> I still remember the first time I saw her, I was like, wow, she is so cool. I used to work at Ibiza Rocks in the shop and she was a DJ at Ibiza Rocks and she had these shoes on. I think she had them in the black and I did want the black, but they were sold out. So I'm waiting for them to come back in stock. Anyway, anyway, she had these shoes. Like, I think I saw them on her long before I saw them on Alexa Chung or Fern Cotton or any of the cool girls like that. But I loved them and I never bought them. And I'm wondering if there is a reason why I never bought them, okay? But we're about to find out. We are about to find out because I have purchased from the archives of Vivian Westwood. These shoes are as iconic as the Vivian Westwood pirate boots from back in the day. These are the Roman three strap shoes and I got them in the tan. Now, you may hate them. You may think that they're not very me, but what I wanted was something that was gonna look pretty. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, what I wanted was something that was gonna look, that, that was still quite feminine, but wasn't like, too cutesy or too edgy. I wanted something that was a little bit like dressed down and would work with tights. And there's just something that has always made me go back to these shoes and I don't know what it was. And so I thought, you know what? Today is the day we are gonna bite the bullet. So many people hated them. I am fully intending to style them up and change your mind. However, I'm, I, have, I have nothing to go on because I've never even like touched them. I've only ever seen them on other people. I've never tried them on. So we're about to do this together and hopefully it works. I'm just gonna have a quick look because I'm actually quite nervous. <laughs> They've got a good heel on them and they're just a little bit kind of retro. But am I thinking that I'm gonna feel like an utter frump in them? And I got the tan as well so that they would go with my like obsession with tan. I wish the buckles were gold. If Vivian Westwood ever happens to stumble on my vid, oh my God, I think I love them. I think I love them. <laughs> if I love them, I'm gonna be determined to bring them back. You see, I think I love them. See, with a shorter dress. Like, oh yeah, I think I love them. They're 110% staying. I love them. They're so edgy. Do they look good with my bag? I love them. <laughs> oh dear. I'm definitely ordering the black. They even look cute with this dress. Like this dress is such a like, uh, this is like an, a house dress for me. And they even look good with this. It's like the perfect shoe to wear with these. And I've always tried to wear boots with dresses and it never looks right, as in like flat boots. This is like the happy equivalent, the happy medium for me. Love them. Love, love, love. So happy that I didn't listen to like 50% of my audience. Actually, I think it was more that hated them. And I couldn't believe how many people didn't remember them. Ouch. <laughs> Love them. I'm gonna wear them tomorrow because Carrie was like, I'm really interested to see how these shoes look, Lydia, because I'm not convinced. And I was like, neither am I. <laughs> but 
but now I am. They're going to need a little bit of wearing in, but love them. Love them. Sorry, you can't even see, so we're going to have to cut that bit out. <laughs> and then the next delivery is from Stellier. And no, it is not Hermes. This is a piece that I saw on their stories at the weekend. And I'm pretty sure I tried this on, not in this colour, a few years ago in Celine. And I was like, oh my goodness, that is stunning. Okay, before I head downstairs, dear Lydia, we hope you love your new coat. All I love, Cellier. So this is, oh my goodness, yes, it is so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. So this is a Celine kind of cotagon style. <gasps> so beautiful in this kind of like it's like a taupey oatmeal-y shade with the turned up lapels like so it can be obviously belted if you want to it's got almost like kangaroo style pockets it's just this really minimal style and i tried this on in selfridges in a different colorway it's like a cream colorway about four years ago and it was like three thousand pounds and i picked this up it was pre-loved and i think it was like six hundred or something and i was like my goodness um they sent this to me because i was dying over it and they um they then offered to send it to me and it's made me very happy but they have the best pieces ever this is the perfect like autumnal coat just really nice and lightweight almost like a cardigan as well which i kind of find this is quite similar to the lauren Manugan pieces as well except the sleeves on this are lined so extra comfort but i'll show you this in a cutaway as well because <gasps> so beautiful right i'm going downstairs have dinner with my husband we have both animals <laughs> just sat waiting for us hello lulu you're very noisy when you're hungry aren't you she's very hungry miss mill and gordon has cooked us bangers and mash and onion gravy wow this looks phenomenal. That mash looks incredible, babe. Mashed it up. Mashed it Gary up. taught me the way, I executed it. Wow, wow, wow. Well, Ali got his way and we ended up watching one of the Bond films and it was so good. I actually forget how good they are. They're very, very entertaining and we were talking throughout and we just, one of the things that we were talking about was how obviously like, I think, I mean, I don't know this for definite, I'm probably speculating, but I'm guessing that it started out that James Bond was only driving an Aston Martin and then obviously he made Aston Martin so desirable that then lots of other car brands wanted in on the action as well. So there's like Range Rover Defenders in there, there's Jaguars, there's Audis. So there's a lot of car brands that James Bond drives, but for me, there's just no none more iconic than the Aston Martin. So yeah, anyway, that's just my thoughts. <laughs> Money talks, but um, Mimi is still curled up here with me. Porty's just gone to bed. Um, I don't know if you've noticed that we always have a blanket on the bed for Porty. That's because Porty likes to rub his smell all over where Lummy sleeps and then Lummy's like, hold on a minute, that's not my smell. And then she gets upset. So this is Porty's blanket for him to rub all over and be snuggly in and happy. And then we take it off and it's Lumi's bed again when she sleeps it because she sleeps it all night. Anyway, tomorrow is the day. So um, I'm going to get some sleep, get up because I've got a day of pampering to get me ready for the premiere. Good morning, everyone. It is a weird and wonderful sunny day today. Um, I'm up and dressed. I am going to have to take my makeup off later on because I've got Alex coming to do my nails and makeup. I have to do my own hair, so we're gonna try. I've been like looking on Pinterest at ideas for how to do my hair, because I kind of wanna, well, I need to decide on what I'm gonna wear first, but I kind of want some kind of like messy low bun, but we'll see how it goes. Um, imagine if I like decide not to do that and my hair is actually not in a good place to be like wearing it down. It probably should have been washed and toned. But anyway, I'm gonna try on some very, very beautiful dresses with you now to try and decide what to wear 
this evening. I've actually dug out some of my wedding dress bits and pieces because obviously I had like two pieces like tops and things like that. I'm gonna try on the long sleeve top with it. I was gonna do the basque but I think I want to get another basque that like covers my boobs a little bit more. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna start trying on some pieces. I'm gonna try on, it's pretty much all Costarellos to be fair, but I wanna try on the gowns for, even though I'm not gonna wear them tonight for our trip. So this is gown number one. And oh my gosh, if this was the right length, how elegant is this? I don't think I've done it up properly at the back, but it is so, so long, I would never be able to wear it. And I feel like here is not doing it justice. There we go. Oh my goodness, what a gorgeous dress, but look how long it is. Too long for little me. But for a photo shoot, this is gonna be so dramatic. And I love these like nude panels, but for me, the neck look at how beautiful that is and the shade of green is just so wonderful and it's really lovely on the waist as well oh my gosh just absolutely stunning i feel like i could flounce around all day in this imagine just being the lady of the manor and wearing this all day i would love to have lived in the times when you could wear dresses like this all day but I'm sure it has some drawbacks in those times as well. <laughs> like, I don't know, beheadings or something like that. But <laughs> I just think this is so wonderful. <laughs> this is dress number two. The kind of vintage rust is all I would say. It's just such a beautiful velvet finish and such dramatic sleeves. I feel like, like a medieval princess in this. It is just so elegant and I love the belt to cinch it in and then it just skims the hips so perfectly and the weight of the fabric is beautiful absolutely beautiful and the color wow oh I wish I could wear these <laughs> such a shame this one's probably about three to four inches too long which is sad but hopefully my trousers or my other Costarellos dress will work perfectly okay so far this is the winner. I'm going to say this now, if a flash goes off, you may see my underwear. So if I make it onto one of those like websites where there's like wardrobe malfunction, I did this knowingly, okay? We've all just been outside, me and the girls, and we've just like had a look. And the girls are like, it's too amazing not to wear it. So yeah, this is I think the winner so far. I am just going to try on the dress, but I feel comfortable in it as well. Like I could eat a massive McDonald's and not even care. And that is the dream dress. Like there's nothing worse than wearing a dress thinking like I can't even breathe. I'm just over it. I want to wear the things that I feel like comfortable in and this is just super super comfortable I'd be able to like really enjoy myself in this so it's a good one and for me the magic of this is the movement in the in the trousers like as you walk it just creates the most like light and airy but then it's so covered up but it's also a little bit sexy because you can see the um, silhouette so yeah but we're just gonna try the dress on. Okay, we have settled on this outfit. Alex was had her mind changed once she saw this on. I think that because it's at the Royal Albert Hall and obviously like royalty are gonna be there, it should be quite dramatic. I'm just, the other one is much securer on the bus, so I'm gonna have to use a lot of tip tape to hold this in place and hope that nobody uses a flash when taking my picture, if anyone fancies taking my picture. Yes, I got a bit flustered then, because I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, like, what am I gonna wear? The only thing that I'm worried about is that these are very long for the movement in the, in the trousers, and I'm worried I'm gonna trip on them or someone will stand on them. I have had someone stand on my dress in the past, so. <laughs> anyway, I love the back of it and I love that it feels like almost like Grecian, considering it is a uh, Greek company as well. It makes me very, very happy to wear this. Alex is in the house. <laughs> the person who acts the most camera shy on my channel, but actually, yeah, actually is not at all. Alex, you have lost weight. I know. I've been dieting. Wow. <laughs> you look really good. Um, I figured that my jeans were getting too tight and I couldn't afford to buy any more. So yeah. <laughs> Alex is gonna be doing my makeup today, so she's also doing my nails as well. My dress looks like an actual dress shop because there are gowns hanging absolutely everywhere. Um, but we've settled on the perfect option. So we are mid first stage of getting ready. Alex is just removing my old polish. We are using 
the gel bottle, builder in a bottle, but we haven't decided which colour just yet. In the meantime, Alex is chewing my ear off about her love life. <laughs> Shush. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anybody. No. It's between us. Yeah. <laughs> between me and the nearly 900,000 of you. <laughs> we have the first coat on of a different shade today, which I actually think is my absolute favorite. This is the, the gel bottle ink in shade Dreamer. I am gonna show you once my hand comes out, but um, I feel like the gel bottle has kind of disrupted the nail space because they've just perfectly come up with that like delicate nude, almost like underwear for your nails type shades. This is me nodding. <laughs> Um, at Alex, but honestly, I, I think that they're amazing and I, this is only my second time having them even though my last one chipped But I love their colors and I feel like this is what I've wanted for ages rather than having that like really thick almost like typical Opaque color this one always looks so nice. I'm just showing you my thumb there. You can see a little bit of my thumb See okay. This is one coat of dreamer and I actually really like it just as one But we're gonna try two coats just for a little bit more opaqueness can we just take a moment for these two using my dressing room as if it's their own dressing room? Annie Gordon's trying on a tracksuit and a, a, a gilet. Alex has got my Dior trainers on. <laughs> no, no, don't mind me or anything. Don't this mind me. Your, this isn't your clothes. No, I know, but you're in my dressing room. These are actually really nice as well. <laughs> it's me looking like a toe in the corner. I've just taken my makeup off. Oh, what size are these? Let me see. I can't see what you're putting They're on. They're a bit tight. Are there um, Bottega Veneta? Very potato lovely. shoes. Bottega. Oh, what are you said potato, potato shoes. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like I'm going shopping, guys. In my wardrobe. <laughs> right. It is finally makeup time. Nails are done. I think this is my absolute favourite colour ever. I think it just offsets against my skin a lot better than the other one. The other one was quite pink, wasn't it? Mm. I did really like it though. More of an natural. Is that a love bite? No, it's not. Oh, okay. It's a spot. <laughs> It's <laughs> a bloody spot. I don't do that. I'm not 18 anymore. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so Alex is now going to do my makeup. The shade that I've got on my nails is Dreamer by Gel Bottle. It's one of yeah. their Build Rid Bottles. And it's very, very pretty. I like it a lot. Okay. Okay. So, do your thing, woman. It's like I'm famous. I got stopped in Ibiza once, actually. Did you? Yeah. By who? Two of your followers. Oh. Oh my God, you're Alex. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am Alex. And then they like, yeah, like the Scottish one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, she killed oh. me. Okay. So what are we putting on the list? So I'm literally just putting um, the Studio Fix 24 hour concealer just to prime the lid. Just gives it a more even camera. You don't need a lot, but it'll prolong the wear of the eyeshadow as well. You been watching YouTube videos? Practicing your YouTube voice? <laughs> Maybe, guys. So, today. I don't know what accent that was. No, neither do I. <laughs> French. French. Ooh, very bright lids. <laughs> what I've always wanted. <laughs> what powder is that? This is your radial. My radial. Well, actually, I bought it with your discount. You're such a good friend. But also, just I, I was telling them how you use so much of the radial stuff in your kit now. Like you use the banana low lighter and stuff, don't you? I, know. I actually just, that is yours, by the way. I just stole that. From I know. You. I've got the peach one at home as well. Yeah. So this is the, the, the powder that almost got me cancelled on the internet. Why? Because people thought I was putting a, a filter. filter on it. It's ridiculous. The internet loves to moan. I mean, you like to moan as well. Yeah. I like to moan. I like to moan in other ways now too. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> Carrie, if you heard that. Re put it over the screen, what Alex just said, just so... No, we put it over cool. the screen. Yeah, yeah. Put subtitles. Subtitles? Carrie, don't do that to me. Okay. 
Wumi Wumi. I love it because I could tell that you were like inspired because you didn't ask me anything. You just started putting stuff on my face. I don't even know. We're just going with it. We're going with it. We're going. With this it. could go horribly wrong. People, no I'm joking. It would never go horribly wrong. It might. It might. Go. <laughs> Do you want me to do the liner? Or do you, you want to do it? If you want to do it, you can do it. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Team effort. <laughs> okay, that is my makeup look finished. We've gone for a very intense, kind of coppery, smoky eye, just to change it up a bit. It's my favorite look to do. <laughs> um, very dewy, and then we've gone for a Tom Ford lipstick, which is in shade An Ecstas, which is like a really beautiful, corally color. You've made my skin look amazing, Alex. It looks so good. And then hair is uh, by me, and I'm wearing some old Mappin and Web jewelry pieces. Ooh! Yeah. Wow! Oh my gosh! Oh wait, I mean you look amazing. You look amazing in that, babe. Yeah, I like that. You think it looks alright with washer? Well, show us the red velvet one. And then my fragrance of the evening. I am going for a mix of Erin Amber Musk oh, and Erin Cedar Violet. A mix of the two because we wanted something unique for the evening. Oh no, I think the the white one was more wow. Yeah. So we have made it into the car. Carrie almost had a hernia in the process, but we are in. I am incredibly uncomfortable. There are so many risks being taken with this dress right now, okay? I cannot express to you. There is a lot of sheer fabric um, and the bow is done tighter than anything I've ever worn in my life. So we are, we're taking some risks, but hopefully I'll have a lovely evening. It will all pay off and um, yeah. I don't make the Daily Mail for any kind of wardrobe <laughs> malfunction. Um, Ali is in the car with me, looking very, very smart. He has the nicest jacket that he's wearing this evening. He's also wearing his wedding shoes, which makes me very, very happy. Um, but we are heading down there now. And honestly, it just feels so wonderful to be dressed up and doing these kinds of events again, because um, it has been a very, very long time. Um, I'm also wearing a lot of makeup that I've not tried before. So Alex has used um, the new Charlotte Tilbury bronzer on me and oh my goodness, I love it. I also love my eyes. I'm wearing lashes. I'm feeling myself right now. It's very nice. Um, the bag I've gone for this evening is my my oldie but my goodie. It's my Bulgari little one that I bought from Selfridges. I love it so much still, even though it's like broken and it's just so old and tatty, but it, it has seen me through many events like this and Alex was like oh you definitely have to wear the, the Bulgari one so we went with that but now we're gonna drive down we've got about an hour and a half to two hours to get down there and um, it is a royal red carpet this evening so I'm gonna be hanging out with my old friend Prince Charles if you remember that I met him you have been around here far too long but no it should be really really good so we're gonna head down and I'm gonna focus on my breathing because I can't actually breathe in my outfit so I'm gonna focus on that we are absolutely live on Facebook and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome to the world premiere of no time to die the 25th Bond movie and his final Arrived on the red carpet. That's the sound of my husband calling me. Yes, my love. Let's go. Come on. Let's go get this. <laughs> um, we are just about to head inside. It's very intense, and my dress is very soggy. But everyone looks fabulous. We found Lara Mike as well. 
<laughs> and it is raining. Fleur, Fleur and Mike came prepared and then Mike literally handed the umbrellas to us and we were like, yes. <laughs> literally says it. And then Emily's up here. Hello. Please be upstanding for their Royal Highnesses, the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall, and their Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Look at us, where we are. This is just yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you to you for coming this evening. And we have a, a lot of frontline workers here this evening. Um, we, do, we want to thank you. It's an honor for, for, for us that you're here this evening and, and what you've done for us over the past 18 months. Uh, we, we thank you. We'd like to sort of dedicate this film to, to you this evening. And, um, and, and just please enjoy. I'm going to get off now. Enjoy the job. Bye. everyone <laughs> I'm saying good morning because it is half one in the morning and we have pretty much just got home um, we made some food I was so sad I'd been looking forward to a McDonald's all evening and we pulled up at a McDonald's at the bottom of the A5 and they said that they were doing an update of their systems at 12 o'clock at night or whatever and they couldn't play, place any orders for half an hour I've never heard of it before. And then we went to another one and they were closed. And so I gave up on my McDonald's mission and we came home and had bagels. Um, so that was the end of that. But the good news is, oh my goodness, the film was so good. 110% the best Bond film I've ever watched. It was just phenomenal. Like the moment that the film starts like it just grips you instantly you are gripped and it's just i love how it goes from like zero to a hundred in a moment but yet is still such an elegant timeless film like my i think my favorite moments are when um he's like driving in his car and they're really kind of like classic romantic music plays like strings play over the sound over the sound of him like driving through the the winding roads in like Italy somewhere and I'm like oh my god and he's like driving a vintage Aston Martin and it's just just magical um but yeah it was really good really really good so I would honestly highly recommend that you go and see the film because not only was this obviously a very, very um, delayed and um, much anticipated uh, film release, but it is just phenomenal. So I would, I would definitely say go watch it because I loved it. My dress choice turned out to be, it wasn't the best guys. Like I think because from what I can gather, it's totally not, the dress's fault it's my fault from what i can gather the dress that i have of the version that i wore to d tonight if that makes sense so i've got the short dress version then i've got the trousers in the top i think the top is a few sizes too big because the top of the dress fits me so perfectly i should have worn the dress because it started raining the moment that we got into london and so the floor was sopping wet so basically I was just mopping the floor with my trousers and it was a nightmare and I just worried about them all night um but it's such a beautiful like outfit that I've always wanted to wear it but at least now I know 
that the dress is my is my better option in that um case oh we've just got home to fresh bed sheets which oh fresh pajamas fresh bed sheets hashtag Lydia Millen luxury moment right here in bed I am probably going to end up having a lay in tomorrow so um that is the end of this vlog I loved my makeup this evening oh my gosh it just looked so so good I'm very very happy with it Alex absolutely smashed it as usual my eyelids look very pink they could be very swollen in the morning <laughs> I may look like a little puffer fish they don't like eyeshadow very often but anyway I'm gonna take my little freshly cleansed face to bed and I will see you guys in my next vlog thanks so much for watching